Hello everyone, Parallel here, and welcome to Star Trek Online. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the new Epic Admiralty card that was recently released for the USS Pestock. Now this Admiralty card is Epic quality. Let's go ahead and pull it up here and take a look at it. And the nice thing about this card is that it's actually quite easy, or uh, it's a relatively easy to acquire. So here is the card right here, the USS Pestock. This is commanded by Benjamin Walker, and you've... Actually, if you've played through some of the Future Proof episodes, you've probably seen this ship in action in a few of them. And uh, it is a, actually a really great uh, Admiralty card. You will definitely want to pick this up as soon as you can. You can, um, uh, you know, as soon as you are getting started in your Admiralty, uh, you know, as soon as you start doing your Admiralty, missions and start getting into it a little bit more you'll definitely want to pick this up in particular on the Romulan or the KDF side as it, this is a science based ship and it is very hard to get science ships on those two factions but even on the Federation this is an amazing ship so before we start talking about the stats let's just uh, quickly discuss how you get this ship um, it is actually available through an episode so if you pull up your episodes and you go down to F future proof story arc and then it is available here through time and tide now the great thing is, is that this was actually a, uh, a featured episode just recently and um, I, I thought that when they took away the future episode or the feature episode that uh, when they turn this into a normal episode again that they would take away this ship but fortunately they have not you can still get it contacted by the Federation from the which means that it's not exclusive to just the you know during the you know, featured episode event and who oh, that's weird. It doesn't that show up for some reason? Oh, okay. Yeah, but here you go. You go down to Time and Tide, and you can see here it is as reward. It's called the Time and Tide Admiralty Bundle. And, uh, and there you go. It gives you the ship as soon as you open it. And it gives you two pass tokens, which is kind of cool. Pretty handy. You do have to be level 60 to be able to do this. So you can't get this right away at level, what is it, 52 or 53 when you can start with Admiralty. Um, so you do have to get all the way to 60 to be able to do this episode, but definitely worth it. Pick it up as soon as you can. So let's take a look at the actual card. So here's the ship itself, the USS Pestock. It is science ship, and it is a, let's see, 31 engineering, 31 tactical, and 73 science. Very, very nice. And you can even see here its special ability. It ignores uh, plus or minus science from events and plus eight science per any ship. So just amazingly good uh, special ability there. You'll notice as you're doing your Admiralty missions, there are a lot of plus science events that happen, and uh, like Wormhole or other ones, and they add tons, like 100 science to the requirement for the mission. So this is very handy for that. Plus, it also gives plus 8 science for other ships, and it gives you 73 just uh, stock science, which is a lot. And 31... Uh, engineering and tactical is not bad at all. So, I mean, it has a great stat total because this is an epic, uh, you know, hero quality ship. So, let's take a look here just to see what we can do. Now, if you're wondering, these other two epic ships, uh, the U IKS Hag and the USS Rhode Island, you get those from completing the. Um, completing each of the tour of duty missions from each of the uh, different categories here in the Admiralty. So if you complete the United Federation of Planets a tour of duty, you get the uh, Rhode Island, and then for the Klingon one, if you complete their tour of duty, you unlock the uh, IKS Hag. And it's a, um, those are also two excellent, excellent ships. They will take a while to do, um, just because you have to get lucky to get all 10 of the tour of duty to complete it once, to unlock them but it's uh, still uh, very good. Actually, take that back. I don't know if you get it from the Tour of Duty, or do you actually have to... I think you actually have to complete... Uh, yeah, I better double-check that. You actually have to complete the... Um, Admiralty... Let's look at Overview here. You do actually have to complete the campaign, don't you?
Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure you have to complete the campaign because the tour of duty is actually what gives you those uh, the the uh, bonus here. You get spec points for the Federation one, and you get a uh, chunk of dilithium for the Klingon one. So yeah, so you do actually have to complete the uh, the actual uh, you know going through and actually completing the um, campaign itself. But once you do all that, I'm kind of curious here to actually see if we throw all of these epic ships into a mission, see what we actually get as far as, you know, total stats here. So let's take a look at our... Um, yeah, let's just queue up a mission here. I don't have any going right now. Uh, let's just queue up a mission. Uh, none of them are particularly great. Yeah, this one has a high science requirement, so let's just plop it in here. Now let's see if what happens when we put all three of the epic quality ships into a mission. <laughs> there you go. 238 science. That is incredible. You'll be able to do almost any science mission with that. I don't, it is extremely rare for a science requirement to go over that. I, I don't know. I may have seen some very high ones of like a purple quality with like wormhole or some really high science event going on. But the past stock will remove the science events, so I don't think, I mean, this will be pretty much be able to do any science, high science requirement mission, uh, no question. Probably even overkill for most stuff. Yeah, that is pretty amazing. A little bit low on the tack, only 100 tactical, 123 engineering, that's pretty good. Um, that should be able to get most. A little bit low on the tactical, but just tons and tons of science. You'll never have a problem trying to complete a high science requirement mission with this team. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is the USS Pastock, and that is how you go about getting it. I definitely recommend getting this ship as soon as possible once you start getting into the Admiralty system more. It really help out in completing those high science requirement uh, missions, that's for sure. So there is that, and I just wanted to quickly talk a little bit about um, some other videos I've been working on. I, I am planning to do some ship build videos for the flagships and for the recently released Krenum Science Vessel. I've been working on those for a while. Um, it's been a little bit slow going, uh, in particular just having to grind out, uh, I kind of have four main alts. I guess, is that an oxymoron, a main alt? I have four like primary alts that I use and focus on. So I've been leveling all the ships to get all the masteries for those. And um, I mean, that's a lot of ships. That's three, you know, the three flagships for each of my four main characters, plus the Krenum Science Vessel. So that's four times four. That's 16 ships, so you have to grind through the mastery. I've been doing a lot of Argala runs, but uh, I'm almost done with that. And I will be getting on to those build videos. I also haven't been having some issues with the uh, the parser, the um, SCM parser. It hasn't been working very good for me. Um, it stopped working recently, and I, I like to, in my build videos, I like to do a run of ISA and do a parse just to see how the build actually performs. So uh, until I get that fixed, uh, it might take a little while to get that resolved as well. Um, but otherwise, man, there's just a ton of stuff going on with MMOs right now, and um, I'm very, very interested in, you know, I've been playing a lot of Blade and Soul, um, and uh, also Black Desert just recently. Um, well, the Head Start just started today, and I started checking that out. I haven't been too heavy into it yet, but uh, we'll be definitely checking that out. I did a first impressions video last week during the closed beta 2, and uh, was very impressed with the early impressions of the game. I still have concerns about the late game there, but um, definitely at least worth a try. It's, it has some new concepts and some new interesting things going on, and the, the open world feeling in that game is amazing. And even one of my one of my buddies is trying to get me to get in uh, play uh, Division, which is also coming out uh, fairly soon here this week. So man, just tons and tons of stuff coming out. Um, so it's just hard to find enough time to do everything and still make videos. But uh, I will definitely keep trying. Um, I am still working on those build videos, and I hope to be bringing out some videos for uh, Black Desert and uh, maybe a couple more for uh, Blade and Soul. I've gotten more towards the end game and started working on Mushin's Tower and, and Blade and Soul. I might be able to do some videos there. So thanks for watching. I just want to give you kind of a little update of what's going on. And, you know, it's just hard. It's hard to find time to play all these games. I mean, I've been, I've been, uh, 
unfortunately just don't have enough time to play a lot of my old favorite games like Terra, uh, Warframe, and Vindictus. Those kind of fell by the wayside now. I mean, I still love all those games. They're just, I just don't have enough time. It's kind of, I guess it's kind of a good problem to have, right? You, uh, having too many good games coming out all at once, that's, uh, I guess, a good problem. It's just You just can't find time to do everything. But definitely a good time if you're into free-to-play MMOs. This is a really great time right now compared to, uh, I don't know, last year was a little bit slow, I think, but now with all these great uh, great new MMOs coming out, free-to-play MMOs coming out this year, it, it really is exciting. All right, but that is all. Thank you very much for watching. Look forward to those videos. I hope you have a great day and hope you enjoy your USS Pestock. Bye for now.